Hello, my name is Chris Boyce and I'm responsible for the Nexperia PowerMOS business based here in Manchester in the UK. Uh, and it's my pleasure today to introduce you to the LFPAC 88 Power Package, uh, the big daddy of the LFPAC packages that form the, uh, the range of uh, LFPAC devices that we, uh, that we have available. The LFPAC 88 offers 48 times the power density of a traditional D2 pack package and about five times the power density of a TOL. And with the help of this model, I'm going to explain to you the internal construction of the device that makes that performance possible. As the name suggests, LFPAC 88 sits on a footprint of 8mm by 8mm. That's considerably smaller than the D2 pack, which is 10 millimeters by about 16 millimeters, and a toll, which is 10 millimeters by about 12 millimeters. It's also only 1.7 millimeters high. So it's quite a small, powerful package. But it's really the performance where things get interesting. This package can support a maximum current of up to 425 amps. So let's take a look inside. Just disassemble it here. It starts with the drain tab. This is a big uh, slab of copper um, that forms the basis of the package. On the underside, we can see that it's plated and this performs a, uh, a good connection mechanism to the PCB. We then apply uh, a layer of solder and we add the silicon chip, the MOSFET itself. So this is a, a, a vertical device. So if you can imagine that the current is flowing through the silicon and into, uh, into the drain tab uh, and onto the PCB. We then add some more uh, solder and we apply two clips. Uh, actually in the manufacturing, they're applied at one time. I'll take my time here and uh, Try and get them in the right place. But the, the larger is the source clip um, uh, that sits here. And then we have the gate clip that, uh, that sits here. Both of those are added in a, a, in a single operation, uh, which helps keep the, uh, uh, the manufacturing time down um, and uh, improves the efficiency uh, and obviously the cost effectiveness of the, of the solution. There are some copper clip devices uh, available in the market uh, that are based a, uh, on, a, on, a, on a source clip that is made out of copper, but they have retained a gate wire. Um, care has to be taken in that, in that circumstance where, to make sure that the flux that comes out from, uh, from the solder paste on the clip doesn't contaminate the, uh, the gate pad, um, otherwise we can end up with some um, uh, some problems uh, bonding the gate wire to the to the gate pad. This single step approach using a clip for both the source and the gate eliminates that problem um, with the Nexperia solution. Some of you uh, who are familiar with our other LFPAC packages may notice that the the gate um, the gate pin here. Uh, is in uh, a different position. So on the LFPAC 33 and the 56, um, it's over on the right-hand side, on this side. Uh, on the LFPAC 88, we've moved it to the left-hand side. And we've done that because we want to make it as easy as possible for designers to transition from a D2 pack package, which also has the gate uh, on the left, um, to the LFPAC 88. So we end up now um, with, uh, with this copper clip and it is covering the vast majority of the surface of the, uh, of the, of the piece of silicon. Um, that means that, that that helps to spread the current across the surface of, uh, of, of the silicon. Um, and that uh, ensures that there are no hot spots uh, forming, um, uh, which can be a problem uh, with older wire bonded uh, type packages. But what we end up with is essentially a sandwich of uh, of silicon between two big chunks of uh, big chunks of copper, and it's difficult to imagine a more 
uh, appropriate, a more efficient construction of this type of, uh, this type of MOSFET device. And it's that construction that really gives the outstanding electrical performance, both in terms of low RDS on uh, and low inductance, but also its thermal performance. So the final step is to add the injection molded plastic around the outer side of the package, and there like that, to protect the inside from, uh, from all the, uh, from the outside world. What you will notice are these gull wing leads that protrude from the side of the package. Um, those are uh, present on all of the LF pack um, uh, devices. Um, and they're what uh, helps to give the, the package such excellent board level reliability. These are power devices. During the course of their life, they will heat up and cool down many, many times. They will be subjected to vibrations and shocks in a lot of cases. Um, and uh, that, that environmental um, uh, operation can um, put stresses and strains on the on the solder joints um, and, the, and the connection between the PCB and the device itself. These gullwing leads have been designed to uh, act like mini shock absorbers such that um, uh, the, the reliable operation during this temperature cycling and these other, these other conditions uh, is exceptional. This package, the LFPAC 88, uh, has passed many times the thermal cycling requirements uh, of the automotive AEC Q101 uh, standard uh, means it's suitable really for the most harsh of environments uh, operating um, um, under the hood and uh, subjected to extremes of, of temperature and vibration and the like. So the LFPAC 88 was uh, first introduced in 2019 uh, with our 40 volt devices. Um, that range is uh, in the process of being extended um, we are sampling now our 80 and 100 volt devices um, and they're, they're finding uh, good use in applications both in automotive and in non-automotive uh, areas. Um, for automotive, it tends to be the high power things like power assisted steering, anti-lock braking systems, um, some 12 volt to 48 volt DC-DC uh, conversion uh, systems. And in the non-automotive area, again, it's high power motor control, um, it's battery protection um, and there, it's uh, in some very specialist applications like hot swap um, where we've uh, combined both the, uh, the LFPAC 88 package together with our super SOA silicon um, to provide outstanding um, uh, linear mode performance. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found uh, the, the look under the hood interesting. If you'd like to learn more, please uh, click on the uh, useful resources uh, button on this webpage and there's uh, plenty more information to uh, take a look at. Thank you very much for your time.